So welcome everyone. Welcome to yet another session of Learn with Tushar. So my name is Tushar Rawal and I've been teaching mathematics from last 14 years. And in those exciting 14 years, I've taught thousands of students. And today we are going to start with a new topic of ninth grade, which is Heron's formula. So I have divided this full topic, full chapter in upcoming five classes. So these are the, some of the topics which we are going to cover in upcoming five classes. First of all, we'll look into the background of the topic. Okay. And secondly, we will be looking at area of triangle. That is the main concept, isn't it? That is the main concept for us. And uh, we'll be looking at the basic formula of area of triangle, then isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle also. At the same time, at the same time, we will be looking at Iran from the, the topic main topic so over here further we will move to area of quadrilateral and at the same time we will be looking at some very important questions of previous year papers and hot questions so don't worry everything is not going to be covered in one class otherwise it will be very difficult for each and every one to cover the topic so today's class will cover only the first highlighted topics so background, area of triangle, old formula at the same time, area of isosceles triangle. So this is part one of the uh, five videos which are coming and you will be able to find the um, link for the other parts in the description section or you will be able to see the playlist for this Hiron formula when you go to the playlist section. So I would recommend watch all the videos. So let's move towards the background of the topic which is Hiran Sonda. Why do we call it Hiran Sonda? It is just to respect Mr. Hiran of Alexandria. He was an ancient Greek mathematician. Okay, He was a great, uh, Greek mathematician and engineer who was active in native city of Alexandria. So basically he is from Egypt and he did the work he did a lot of work in mathematics field and engineering field and he gave out the formula what we are going to learn in this chapter and with to, just to give respect to this person we are we are associating the name Hiron's formula with respect to him okay so this is just another another formula for area of triangle remember Hiron's formula is just another formula for area of triangle what we have learned as of now about area of triangle let's quickly revise area of triangle so if i talk about area of triangle everyone knows isn't it everyone know what is the formula area of triangle is half time base into height so important thing is what is base and what is height so let's say this is a b c and this particular point is d now in this particular question always remember what is the height First of all, look at the height. 90 degree line is the height. Now, where it is 90 degree, this is the point 90 degree. Hence, it is forming on this particular point line. So, therefore, my base would be this one. Okay. And height would be this one. So, always remember to identify. So, half time base. Base is BC times AD. That is the formula. So over here, let's say this is P, Q, R. Okay. So what is the formula for this? Half times Q, R times P, Q. That is the formula. That is how we should identify. Why we are trying to identify base and height? Because in some questions, there will be more than, it will have more than one base or one height like this. So you have to know what is base and what is height. We will look at some of the questions, don't worry. So let's quickly revise what is base and height. So X, Y, Z and this point is M. Quickly tell me what is the base. Everyone should answer in the chat box. This is P, Q, R and this point is S. Okay. And this is A, B, C and this point is D. So one by one over here, as you can see, this is the perpendicular line. Always look at the perpendicular line and 90 degree is forming over here. So 
this particular line becomes my base. In this particular question, this is my perpendicular line or height, you can say, and this is the base. Over here, this is the perpendicular line or uh, height, whereas the base is just this thing. Why is it so? Always remember, base is always, you can write this thing down, base is always one of the side, one of the side of the triangle. Okay, height is an imaginary line. So that's why generally we represent it by dotted line other than right angle triangle. Otherwise, we generally uh, represent height by a dotted line uh, because it's an imaginary line. So over here, half times base, base is yz times xn. I hope you guys have uh, wrote this thing down. For this particular triangle, it will be half times base. Base is pr times qs. Over here, this one is very important. Let me see how many of you have done this correctly. If you have not done as of now, please pause the video and answer yourself first. So half time base is CB times AD. Let me tell you, those who have answered CD, they are incorrect. So please pay attention. That is incorrect. Let's move on to the one of the question. Again, I've taken most important question over here. Let's say A, B, C, and D. So area of triangle would be half time base. Base is CB times AD. So half times CB is 14 and this is 10, it will be 7, so answer would be 7 meter square. So that is my answer, final answer, area of triangle is 70 meter square. Let's look at one more question. So in triangle PQR, okay, so in triangle PQR, so let us draw a triangle PQR. Isn't it? So P Q R. Base P R. It is mentioned over here. Base P R. So let me just highlight for you. So yeah, base P R. Okay. So over here they are considering this as base. It's seven. So this particular side is seven centimeter. I'll just write this thing and altitude is Q S. So again an important line altitude is qs that means q is the starting point and the opposite side the what the perpendicular is being drawn so what i'm going to do i am going to draw a dotted line like this from q to the opposite side and this becomes my s point this becomes my s point s6 so this particular side is known as six centimeter now as of now i have got the perpendicular that means altitude and I have got the base. So I should first of all find out the area of this thing. So what I'm going to do, we have a habit of uh, looking at this thing like this. Can you see that? Now it would be very easy for you to identify that PR is the base and QS is the height. So I can simply find out the area for this thing. So area of triangle PQR, which is half times base into height, which is half times base is PR and height is QS. Okay, so with the help of this, base is 7 and 6. So answer would be 21 centimeter square. So that's my answer for this thing. Centimeter square. Let me just write it properly. Okay. So that's my area of this triangle. But they were not asking area of the triangle. They are asking if the length of the base PQ. So over there PQ. They have given PQ as 14. Find the length of RT. So we are asked, they are asking this particular length, RT. So 
try to understand unless until we don't know the area of the triangle we cannot find so what i would just suggest fill out this thing okay so i have done this thing already so our base was 7 altitude is 6 and area is 21 and over here i have just filled the remaining so area i'm keeping same because we are looking for the same triangle so how I'm going to do this particular part, I will be focusing on this one. So half times base, base is 14 times RT equals to 21. So this will be 7. So RT equals to 21 over 7. That will give me 3 centimeter. So therefore my RT value will be 3 centimeter. That's my final answer. So let me just show you another way of doing this question. Okay. So let me just clear out this page, particular page. So over here, they are saying this is a triangle PQR. Let me just quickly draw PQR. So they are talking about base PR, base PR 7, and QS is 6 and the length of the base pq is 14 and we need to find this rt since we are going to find the area of two triangles twice so i'm going to equate them so area of triangle first time would be pr times qs is equals to half times PQ times RT. Okay, so over here half and half getting cancelled. PR is what? PR is 7, QR is, is 6, and PQ is 14, and RT we need to find. So I will be able to cancel this thing 2, and I will be able to cancel this thing by 3. So I will be getting 3 cm as RT. So this is a smart way. If you are able to understand this thing, that means you are good at it. So let's move on to the next question. Next topic of the today's video, which is area of isosceles triangles. So uh, some students would like to learn the formula, but I would say we can do it without the area of isosceles triangle formula separately. But let me just teach it so that if some competitive exams are coming you can use this formula directly so over here first of all i need to see the height this is the particular height this is the right angle triangle isn't it so if i just take this part okay and keep it side sure that's a good thing so what I'm going to do, I'm going to label this thing A, B, C, and 90 degree. Now this is my A value, this is my B upon 2 value, and let me just take this as H. Okay, so we know that uh, the formula for area, of, sorry, right angle triangle we can use Pythagoras theorem. That would be A square equals to base square B upon 2 whole square plus h square so remember over here we are finding trying to find the h okay so i'll just shift this thing to the other side so a square minus b square over 4 because 2 square is 4 equals to h square now i'll just shift this square to the other side so it will give me root a square minus b square by 4 that's my h value that's my height of the triangle so therefore my area of the isosceles triangle would be half times base base is what full that's b times height which is this thing so a square minus b square by 4 this is the formula if you want to copy 
if you want to take screenshot you can take this screenshot half into base of the height so i'm again telling you there is no need of this particular form but some students like to learn the formulas a lot so that's why i'm giving it so half times base times a square minus b square by 4. so let's do one question on it find the area of the isosceles triangle if the length of the equal side is so over here it is given equal side is 15 inch and base is 16 meter long 16 inch long so so over here the equal sides so equal sides are 15 so this is 15 this is 15 and this is 16 so according to our basic formula so a is 15 b is 16 what the formula we have used h okay so area formula was half times base that is b times height which is a square minus b square by 4 okay so half times base base is 16 times a square 15 square minus 16 square by 4 okay so I can just cancel this particular part 8 and outside I will be getting 8 so majorly I have to solve this particular part okay so what I'm going to do I'm solving it separately so that I don't have to write everything again and again okay so this is the question so 15 square is 225 and 16 can be done as 16 times 16 just to save the calculation this will be made 4 so 225 minus so 16 times uh, 4 what will be the answer guys quickly help me out with this thing so 16 times 4 one second i did that already so that i don't waste time on this so that would be 64 okay so i will be getting over here 161 i'll just substitute this value over here so root 161 inch square so that's my area for this okay that's my final area for isosceles triangle you can do without this particular formula so i will be using the wrong formula in the next class to solve this thing so don't worry i'll be using the similar question in the next class also next video so this is some homework for you you can take a screenshot okay i'm giving you five seconds that's one two three four five i hope you have taken the screenshot let me tell you this these are the answers for this questions answer but i'm asking you to come back to the video again after solving them in a notebook and check your answers whether you are done with this thing or not so that's it from this particular uh, video we'll follow up with the next video for the second part thank you everyone we'll see you